to my channel hope everybody is doing well it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood would you be mine could you be mine who remember mr rogers neighborhood that used to be my show that used to be my show y'all so y'all why let me ask y'all something why do everybody have to ruin a good moment? Why do everybody gotta ruin a good moment? Like if there's a special thing going on for somebody or something or whatever the case might be, don't point out the negative. Don't point out the negative. Like, and especially if it was, especially if it's like going like the whole thing, the the good moment is going like 100% or 90%, you know what I'm saying, good, and you want to bring out, somebody that want to bring out like the negative out of the whole situation and not mention the good things that, you know, that happened. Ooh, what you gonna stop, bruh? Um, but not mention the good things that, you know, that went on or that goes on. Like, I just can't stand people that's like that. And first of all, they call you and they ain't even they ain't even you know support not support they don't even um they don't even like and they won't even they won't even like what am i trying to say they won't even like especially when you don't show up for that person put it that way especially when you don't show up for that person and then you want to pinpoint every little negative thing that went on you know what i'm saying i don't i don't like i don't like that stuff i don't like that stuff because that's just not right that just that just shows toxicity people look for people look for the negative in certain situations in everything because they want something to talk about and that just shows how unhappy you are with yourself when you pinpoint negative stuff about somebody else. That is sad. That is very sad and toxic. And y'all need to cut it out. <laughs> I am like. I am like. Just so like. That boils me like. People just look for the bad stuff that come out. Not mention that this and this happened. This was nice. That was fun. This is cute. You know, da 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 da. Like, oh, why did this happen? Da, 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 da. Okay, first of all, it was nice. It was cute. It was fun. Whatever the circumstances might be. You know what I'm saying? Or, you know, just be happy for that person. Not one time do you mention anything positive or something great about someone or something that they got going on for themselves that is crazy when somebody call you with some toxic shit hang up the phone hang up the phone continue to protect your peace your environment you know what i'm saying just because like ah, uh, like nobody ain't got time for that nobody ain't got time for that just because you unhappy you want you want you want to make somebody else unhappy or if they don't like that person they want to pinpoint every little negative thing that they find out about that person Ooh, that gets them good and hot like ooh, that gets them excited boy that gets them excited somebody don't like somebody and they want and then something negative happened to that person or something negative happened to um that individual they want to oh they just that just makes that enemy just so happy like oh this oh this happened oh good da, da, da. or they deserve or trying to you know whatever it's just so i ain't got time for it i ain't got time for it don't call me with no, nothing negative because i'm gonna tell you i'm gonna call you back because i ain't got time i ain't got time like and shit ain't got nothing to do with me it's just what i see that happens with other people that's all i'm saying <laughs> Thank you. 
hours up to them. Can I get a um number one egg McMuffin just a sandwich? And a um caramel frappe. Small, medium, or large. Small, and that's it. Alright, 604, your um, second one, please. Thank you. Thank you. you. Alright. Hey, Y'all, I don't even drink coffee. I don't like coffee. But, caramel frappe is something like a coffee, I guess. I guess it is a coffee. I don't know, but I don't drink hot coffee or dark coffee or nothing like that. But, um, I'm ready for hot chocolate season. Mm. This is good. I'm ready for like hot chocolate season. I just needed something mocha. I needed some kind of mocha. <laughs> mm. Y'all saw it. But camera for every. And y'all don't even like McDonald's. But McDonald's. Breakfast and be busted. Mm. Get y'all caramel frappe. If y'all like caramel frappe, put it in the comments. Let me know if y'all like caramel frappe. All my non coffee drinkers, get you a caramel frappe. Can't go wrong. That's why my car can't never stay clean. It'll be my kid. No, I'd be my kids. Never mind. I ain't even gonna sit there and lie. Cause I clean up my mess. My front is clean. But that back. They like sold the box. <clears throat> Soda bottles, candy wrappers, everything back there. Baby dolls, shoe strings. When I first got my big baby, I was like, mm -mm, no kids in this car. I was like, don't drop my other car. I was like, no, no, no kids in this car. But somehow they insist to get up in here. <laughs> now to why? I don't see why I said no kids in here. Mm -mm. Fingers off me. Let me show y'all this. I don't know if y'all can see. I don't need off the camera. I'm gonna pick it up. No, nah, camera ain't gonna pick it up. But it's a big circle on my dash window. A big circle. And when I got my car clean last time. Last time I got my car clean, they cleaned it. I made sure they get that first. I was like, can y'all please do them? Now I can clean it at home with some Windex, but mm -mm. I ain't doing all that.
praise God. Okay, my morning praise and worship, man, is amazing. That mo that feeling that you get with just praising God and just thanking Him for everything that He's done for your life and the things that He will continue to do you for your life. You got to have faith and believe that whatever you're trying to get through, the breakthrough that you're trying to get through, it's already been done, honey. It's already been done. And that song is just released as a part of my soul that just comes on out. Any stress, anxiety, depression, it just brings it all out. All my worries, I don't have to, it just, it just, it just does something to my song, my soul. That song is six minutes long and it's just, it's just a beautiful thing when you're praising God and just, you know, it's just a beautiful feeling, you know. Try praising God every morning that you wake up. Have your praise and worship, you know what I'm saying? So, I just feel like a relief that just been that just been left my soul. And it just, you know, every morning that I praise God, it just, something just within part of me just releases, you know. And it just feels so good, so relaxed, so refreshed to praise God. You don't have to go to church to praise God. I praise God. We are the ministry. God's children, each and one of us, we are his ministry. His ministry lives inside of us. So, whatever it is, read your Bible, praise, worship him. You don't have to go to church. You don't have to go to any kind of kingdom to praise God. I'm not going to get all spiritual biblical on here, but that's just how I feel. That's my opinion. And, um... No matter where where I am, whether I'm in my car, whether I'm in my bathroom, whether I'm in my living room, whether I'm on my back porch, front porch, in Target, no matter what, I'm going to praise God. Every minute, every second, every hour, no matter what it is, I'm going to give God thanks for what he has done for me and that he will continue to do for me and things that I, that I don't even see yet. That I might not see in the next days, weeks, months, years. But my future that God holds. That will embark upon me when, it got, when, it's, in God's, when it's God's time. I thank him in advance for his grace and mercy. And for my faithfulness. That I believe that miracles do happen. And the breakthrough will happen. For whatever I want and desire and need. So that's me. That's my moment of. Praising God, I feel good, I feel great. Got my coffee, well not my coffee, but my, I ate breakfast. Ran a couple errands this morning. Get my day started. Pretty much, <clears throat> it's not even nine o'clock yet. And I completed everything I had to do today. That's an amazing feeling. That's part of being an entrepreneur. You can really start your day early and end your day early and then have the rest of the day to yourself. So, anyways, well, not to myself, but technically. But, um, yeah, all the major stuff is gone. I mean, done, put it that way. <laughs> so, see y'all later. So, I'm going to show y'all what's in my purse. <laughs> so, first is my wallet. I always carry my wallet in my purse. I need to change my wallet. I need to find me a wallet to match this bag. Most of my bags I have, my wallet matches my bag. Hmm, a bill. Checkbook. Cause I write checks. <laughs> Glasses, Oh, very dangerous. Very dangerous. Never put your glasses in your purse. I had plenty of times where my glasses were in my purse and my stems broke off. Never, never put your glasses in your purse. That's very dangerous. I'm glad I, I actually have to clean out my purse, so that's why I don't mind sharing you guys what's in my purse. Because I have to clean it out. Hmm. See? Trash. Receipt. Target receipt. Now let's count how many receipts I find in this bag because that's the main problem. Receipts, trash. Lip gloss, be some on collection on the lips. I need to um order some more. That's all I wear on my lips, be some on collection. Besides my lip oil. Hand sanitizer. Don't forget that hand sanitizer. Sanitize them hands before and after you get out your car. 
I need some more. Sanitize those hands before and before and after you get out your car. Okay. Uh, membership, range membership, gang gang, do <laughs> boom boom. <laughs> um, let's see. Gift cards. Another receipt. How many of y'all have receipts in y'all bag? If y'all carry a lot of receipts in y'all bag, comment below and say, I be having a lot of receipts in my bag too, Stephanie. Like, what do y'all do with y'all receipts? Do y'all not ask for the receipts or like, or do you have a separate pouch that your receipts should go in that carries in your bag, that goes in your bag? Like, help me to stay organized with receipts because help me to like, stay organized with these receipts. Like, the food ones I could throw away, but like the Target, the Walmart ones I save. So, I just wanna know like how to bear, how to better carry receipts in my bag, y'all. So. I don't throw away those. I don't like throwing away receipts because for one, I use them for tax purposes. And then two, like I might need to take an item back because when I buy stuff, I don't open it right then and there and then I find like, you know, it's dysfunction and I like to take it back to the store. So, so food receipts. I be having a lot of food receipts more than I have restored store receipts, y'all. It's so crazy. My eyebrow gel, you know, I carry this everywhere. When I wear my makeup, I put this in my bag. Like this have to stay in my bag. Um, so a charm, a love charm, and some coins, baby. Some coins, some coins. Okay, okay, let's see if that is. Let's see if that's it. G gift cards. Uh, business cards so that's it that's all in my bag y'all it's cleaned out it's cleaned out <sighs> so that's a little um you know clip about what's in my bag hope you guys enjoyed what else what are some things that you guys find in your bag comment below and let me know is it tampons, is it toothpaste, is it deodorant? I know some people that carry tampons and toothpaste and deodorant and stuff in their bag too. They just carry it every day, which is good because sometimes when you be sweating, baby, you might wanna put some deodorant on right quick. You know what I'm saying? So comment below and let me know what y'all put in y'all bag. So y'all, guess what? I am filling out my passport. I'm filling out to get a passport. I'm so excited. I want me a passport so bad. It's time for me to, it's time for your sis to start taking these trips, okay? But this application is long, okay? <laughs> Baby, like, oh, this application is so long, y'all. So I'm excited. I probably want to go, where do I want to go first? I want to go to Jamaica first. I want to go to Jamaica first, y'all. I did want to go to, um, I did want to go to Turks and Caicos first, but I think I want to go to Jamaica first. Either Turks and Caicos or Jamaica, I don't know. Either want to go to Turks and Caicos first or Jamaica first, y'all. I don't know. I don't know where I want to go. I just started, if y'all ain't know, I just started flying last year. I just started flying last year. I went to um, Las Vegas was my first flight. If y'all ain't watched that, go watch that. But yeah, and then Miami was like my second flight. So baby, <laughs> I'm about to be a flight regular, a regular flight, whatever they call it. I forgot what they call it. But anyway, so yeah. I am trying to, um, I'm trying to take flights, not feelings. 
When it comes to going going across countries too, that's the thing. It looks all glitz and glamour. It look like you're gonna have a good time and everything. But if you don't know how the country work, it can be really, really scary. I didn't heard um, stories where like people just like, you know, running up on them, trying to hustle them into some money. And it's like, it's, it's just very scary. And then like Uber drivers and, it's just very scary like I'm so used to anywhere I go like I didn't travel to so many like local states and everything like nearby states and stuff like that but I always had my own car so being in a different country without having your own car to me is very scary so it's like I didn't hear so many stories about uber drivers or about uber drivers or people just you know walking up to them and trying to hustle them and stuff like that and it's just it's normal for that country but of course we don't we don't know that like we don't you know, so it's just different. And then I heard that, like, if you go to different countries, you got to have, um, one of my homegirls was telling me that you got to have, um, you got to have, um, what she was saying? You got to have your immigration papers. Like, you got to fill out immigra immigration, make sure you fill out immigration papers going and coming back because you can get stuck in the country. That's scary. That's scary. And then being stuck in the country and your flight canceled and you can't take another flight. But she almost got stuck too. My hunger almost got stuck in another country for like two or three days because her flight got canceled. And they didn't have another flight until three days later. So she had to change her, you know, her stuff. So it's just, it's just, it's just, it's, it's crazy. It's scary, but I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Guys, I finished the first Passport. Yeah, yeah. That's the first step. Okay. Oh, Jesus. At least that's over with. Your girl out here making moves, baby. Y'all ready for some? My darn dog. Anybody want a dog? I got a dog for sale. What? She's so disrespectful. She works. But your girl out here trying to make moves, y'all. I'm out here trying to make moves. Hey, y'all ready for some travel vlogs? <laughs> y'all ready for some travel vlogs? Because y'all about to get some travel vlogs. Not this year, but next year. Because next year for my birthday, baby. We going up. We going up. We going up. Hey. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. But anyway. <laughs> so, y'all, my fashion, fashion over order has finally came in. So I'm going to show you guys what I got. Not much, just a little bit. I'm going to home girl. I'm watching Peyton. If y'all know Peyton, I love Peyton, y'all. If y'all watch her, I love watching her. But I'm going to show y'all what I got from Fashion Nova. <clears throat> mm, baby. But look, y'all, these are some leggings. These are some travel leggings. They're so cute. I tried them on. They're super, super um, comfy. I love this part right here. A little lace. Get a little sexy vibes. Little sexy vibes. Show some skin. Love them. They're super stretchy and they're high waist. So I love high waist leggings. I don't like the ones that just sit around on the waist because for some reason when I walk, they just slide down and I don't like those. So yeah, I love these, the high waist ones. So yeah, I got those. I want those in different colors too. But I like black with this. It'll go with it. It'll go with everything. So I got those. And then I got this shirt. It's a half quarter shirt. Half quarter blue shirt because I have this like onesie outfit. And I don't like how the onesie outfit show my shape a little bit. Cause <laughs> baby girl, I love my, I love my body. But my shape in that onesie is giving Pillsbury Dough Boy. <laughs> I'm looking like a Pillsbury Dough. Look like a can of looking like a can of biscuits. That's what I'm trying to say. But yes, yeah, so I got this to cover it up just a little bit to give it a little. Mm. So I needed that. I got these little comfy lounging body suits, onesie short sets. Something to walk around the house with. I thought it was cute. 
I love the color. I'm probably not gonna go out in public with it because my husband can be like, where are you going with that? <laughs> but I just thought I love little onesies. I love little, I love little one pieces. Um, so I got that. I want like a, my other one piece is a pants one. And I get, that's why I got this to go over it. But for this one, I want like, if I do decide to wear it out or something like that, the shorts, the shorts, I, the shorts are short enough um to go out but i just don't like how the onesie like look at how my body look like my shape ain't right you know what i'm saying like in a onesie so that's why i said wear around the house but if i do decide to wear it out i want like a a lace cover up maybe like a um not lace but like a neck kind of cover up to go with this or in the winter months or when it come fall i can always rock it with a jean jacket a half quarter jean jacket so um this is what i really came on fashion over for this is what i really wanted on all that other stuff was uh just extra but this right here is my sway oh the girls oh oh my it's a bathing suit cover up, y'all. This is a bathing suit cover up. Look at that. Look at that. It goes all the way down, y'all. It goes all the way down. Now, when you watch this, I can only imagine when I wash it and the the the, the strings on it shrivel up. Not even shrivel up, but come cottony. So that's the only downfall. But we'll see. I'm probably going to hand wash it. I'll probably hand wash it but not dry it. Because I can only see with it going in the washing machine and it's just getting all knotted up. So I'll probably hand wash it. But yeah, this is so cute. I always wanted one of these but I never know where to find it. I never, know, I never knew where to find it. Um. So yeah, as y'all know we got a beach trip coming up. So I was like, I need another bathing suit cover up because the one I had when we went to Miami, it was I got it from Amazon and it was like so stringy. Like the it cut my neck, like it was just like pulling on my neck, and like it was so string, like the string that ties around your neck was like it was cutting my neck. So and then um the bottom piece, it just wasn't it. The pants, I still got the pants. And the pants was okay, but the pants don't go with the, uh, don't go with the, um, what am I trying to say? The pants don't go with the, um, the swimsuit that I'm trying to wear, y'all. So, anyway, that's what, that's my little fashion of a uh haul. -huh. I really, really wanted this. This is a pencil, um, pencil bathing suit cover-up. So, all the other stuff that I got was just extra. So, y'all, yep. Y'all, so I was just reading that Brittany Griner case. They they sentenced her to nine years in prison. That is insane. That is crazy. Nine years in prison for taking some weed over to another country. And I'm over here trying to get a passport and go to another country. I don't think I want to go no more. That is crazy. And you got to think across country, their rules and everything is, their laws and everything is different than here in the U.S., but nine years she had to my knowledge she had weed in a, a vape a vape a vape a pipe that was it she, yeah like they had like she had a big bag of a suitcase of cocaine or something nine years that is a very harsh punishment that is a very that is too harsh that's too harsh a punishment she would suffer more in the jail in the in in the country than she would be here in jail that is and plus yeah that that that's that's crazy that i'm i'm sad i don't even want my passport no more mm -mm, i ain't going nowhere i'm gonna stay right here i know i won't missing out on nothing across the country they are cruel oh y'all i just got back from my daughter's meet the teacher as you can see i was a visitor and girl they didn't gave us this thick packet of paperwork this thick packet of paperwork. This is, I gotta go through all these papers. Hope I don't have to sign much. I hate going through papers. I hate signing papers. Like, I just, I don't know. And it's hot. It's hot. 
but it's hot and I got to go through all these papers because she starts her first full day is tomorrow so I'm super excited about that and yeah these papers got to be dropped off tomorrow I need to put money in her lunch account so yeah all these papers I got to put in here and go like I was saying, her teacher is super, super nice, sweet, loving, affectionate, hugs, kisses, I was like, eh, all the stuff going around, I was like, eh, but God protect my baby, <laughs> protect my baby, protect me, protect us, baby, okay? So, um, her teacher, she has two teachers, like I said, she'll be in the K-1 class. <laughs> go, baby, go, baby, go! Go baby, go baby, go K1 baby. You know what I'm saying? My baby's smart. She's smart, okay? So, like I was saying, she'll be in a K1 class. Calm down, baby. Calm down. She's like, yep. <laughs> She's over here shaking her head, yep. <laughs> but she'll be in a K1 class. And teacher assistant, um, the teacher assistant will be working with the K1 kids. And then you have the regular teacher that'll be working with the one kids and um and yeah and they'll switch off then like the one the the t the k the the reg the main teacher will be teaching on a one level and then you have the assistant that will be helping the k1 kids on the one level so that's super dope to me because you have that extra set of hands you have that extra set of hands to help with the little ones the k1s the k's to do one's activities like that's super dope to me so it's like she's learning it and but anyway on a you know on a you know real you know on a like on her level like you know what i'm saying so anyway i hope that, that made sense if not oh well argue with your mama don't argue with me because <laughs> that's a lot that's a lot she must be going to spend night i'm going to bring her home room they even ask you for change of clothes towels <laughs> that's what they said change of clothes towels boobie what y'all want some soap to and deodorant <laughs> oh. the thing about these apple computers is they have to be charged this keyboard have to be charged. My mouse have to be charged sometimes. Like that's the only thing about these Apple computers that have to be charged. So no more work for me today. But my keyboard charged. I only have one. Don't do anything like that. Okay, y'all. All right, G. I'm vlogging. So be quiet. Uh, oh, we gotta eat. We gotta eat on the camera and talk to the. <laughs> okay, y'all. So it has white and red. <laughs> Mmm. Mmm. Just like candy. I think that blue. I think that blue stuff is candy. It's like a. It's like a blue sugar. It's like a blue sugar candy. Mmm. It's good. It definitely like, tastes like a candy donut. Mmm. -hmm. A blueberry candy donut. Will I get it again? Probably not. It's too much sweet. Mm. It's too sweet. Then the white stuff is icing. Like a cake icing, like a frosting. But it's good. Nice little treat. Mm. But I wouldn't get it again. Y'all, I went to McDonald's and I had to wash down that donut. Mm. 
that donut was so sweet it was like candy but it was good but i won't get it again i just went and try something new but that donut was so sweet but y'all so oh god when i went to mcdonald's why was the driver drive drive through cashier had an attitude she had an attitude so i killed it with connie so i said i'm gonna kill it with connie because i could tell she had an attitude at the little machine where you order your food because she kept saying is that it is that it is that it and i kept ordering another and another and another i ordered all three drinks and then i was like she had an attitude so then when we got to the window um she would tell me my total and i gave her my cash and then so she gave me a receipt back i said thank you i'm about to kill her with kindness thank you and then so then she started giving me my drinks I, and she didn't say nothing once i said thank you and then she gave me my drinks all three of my drinks and then i said thank you again she still ain't said nothing and hurried up and closed her um drive through window like why are you mad sis why are you mad but i won't buy to give her that same injury that she was giving me so i killed it with kindness i'm so proud of myself but anyways thank you for hanging out with your sis you know what i'm saying thank you for hanging out with your girl you know you know you know you know we had a good good time you know whatever well i don't know how this vlog went <laughs> but anyway so i hope you guys enjoy it make sure you hit that like button subscribe to my channel and like and comment on your way out i see y'all in my next video Peace. <laughs>